Mrs. Backrack, and I am excited to read to you one of my favorite books. This is called Bagels from Benny by Aubrey Davis, illustrated by Dusan Prasis. The sun was just waking up when Benny ran downstairs to Grandpa's bakery. He always helped Grandpa before he went to school. He swept the floor and dusted the shelves. He put cookies and cakes on the counter. He put bagels and buns in the bins. Benny loved to help his grandpa. People bustled in and out of grandpa's bakery all day long. Some bought bread and some bought cake. Some bought apple strudel. Everyone bought bagels. Grandpa baked the best bagels in town. So crusty outside, Mrs. Silver declared. So soft inside, added Mr. Gold. You put love in your bagels, gushed Mrs. Green. Thank you so much. Grandpa handed Mrs. Green a bag full of bagels. Why thank me, he asked. Who else should I thank, laughed Mrs. Green. Just then the clock struck eight. We'll be late for work, cried Mrs. Silver. Dear me, gasped Mr. Gold. Toodaloo, sang Mrs. Green and they scurried out the door. Benny was puzzled. Why shouldn't Mrs. Green thank you? You make the bagels. Grandpa lifted Benny onto the counter. Benny, he added, aren't bagels made with flour? Yes, said Benny. Doesn't flour come from wheat? Yes, Benny nodded. Where does wheat come from? From the earth, answered Benny. And who made the earth? God did, Benny replied. Grandpa smiled. Then thank God for the bagels. It was a good idea. Then he closed his eyes. Thank you, God, he whispered. Then he waited. Did he hear me, Grandpa? You ask difficult questions, Grandpa chuckled. God always hears you. But Benny wasn't so sure. If God had really heard him, why didn't he answer? At school that day, Benny did no work. He didn't read anything and he didn't write. At recess, he sat alone in the shade of a tall maple tree. What's wrong? asked his teacher. What's wrong? asked his friends. I'm thinking, Benny sighed. Benny was still thinking when he went to bed that night. Maybe God didn't answer because I didn't thank him properly. He yawned. Maybe there's some other way to thank God for his bagels. Benny fell asleep. Early Friday morning, a little sunbeam danced into Benny's bedroom. It jumped onto his pillow and tickled his eyelids until they opened. Benny's eyes sparkled in the sunlight. Suddenly, he had an idea. He leaped out of bed and ran down the stairs. That morning, Benny worked very hard in the bakery. Grandpa, he asked, would you pay me for my work? Grandpa raised his eyebrows. Pay you? How much? A big bag of bagels, replied Benny. Why bagels, Grandpa asked. It's a secret, whispered Benny. Grandpa laughed and gave Benny a huge bag full of bagels. Benny took them to the shul. This is where people speak to God, he thought. Maybe I can thank him here. He opened the door and peeked inside. It was dark and very still. Benny trembled. Maybe I shouldn't. It's not prayer time. But Benny took a deep breath and walked in. He tiptoed past empty wooden benches. He climbed the stairs to a big wooden cupboard, the Aron HaKodesh. His heart pounded. He could barely breathe. Maybe I shouldn't open it. Maybe God won't like it. The Torah is inside, and it's his special book. But Benny took a deep breath and pulled the doors open. King of the universe, he whispered, I brought you some bagels. I know you make them. 
but you never taste them because Grandpa sells every last one. Benny put the bag in the ark and closed the doors. Thank you for making the best bagels in town, Benny whispered. Then he ran off to school. On Shabbat, Benny and Grandpa went to shul. Everyone prayed and sang, but not Benny. He kept his eyes on the doors of the Aron Kodesh. Had Hashem eaten the bagels, he wondered? When the Aron Kodesh was opened and the Torah was taken out, Benny looked inside. The bagels were gone! His heart skipped and his eyes danced. I'm so glad you liked them, he whispered. I'll bring you more. Week after week, Benny worked in Grandpa's bakery. Every Friday, Grandpa gave him bagels, and every Friday, Benny gave the bagels to God. Grandpa became curious. What was his grandson doing with all of those bagels? One Friday, he followed Benny to the shore. He waited in the shadows and watched. They're still warm, just the way you like them, murmured Benny. He opened the Aron Kodesh and put the bag of bagels inside. What are you doing, Grandpa bellowed? Benny spun around. Grandpa, he gasped. I'm, I'm thanking God. You're putting bagels in Hashem's Aron Kodesh, cried Grandpa. But he likes the bagels, insisted Benny. Every week he eats them all. Oh, Benny, Grandpa laughed. God doesn't need to eat. He doesn't have a mouth or a stomach. He doesn't even have a body. He doesn't? Benny frowned. Then where do the bagels go? Grandpa looked at the Aron Kodesh. He looked at Benny. He stroked his beard and scratched his head. I don't know, he sighed. Suddenly the front door cracked open. Grandpa put a finger on his lips and pulled Benny into the shadows. In walked a man in a tattered coat. He took the bag of bagels from the Aron Kodesh. Oh, Lord, I was so hungry, he sobbed. For weeks you fed me. From heaven you sent such beautiful bagels. He tucked the bag under his coat. I have good news for both of us, he said. I have found work. He wiped away his tears. Now I can feed myself and you can stop baking bagels. The man smiled as he quietly closed the cupboard. You help me, Lord. Now I promise to help others. Then he left. Benny buried his face in Grandpa's coat and wept. God didn't eat my bagels. The poor man took them. Grandpa's eyes grew wide with wonder. Benny, he asked, you wanted to thank God? Yes, Benny sniffled. Well, you did, said Grandpa. How? Benny asked. Didn't you give bagels to a hungry man? Asked Grandpa. Yes, Benny replied. Didn't he promise to help others? Yes, Benny nodded. Then you made the world a little better, said Grandpa. I did, Benny wondered. You did, Grandpa smiled. And what better thanks could God have? The end. Thank you and have a great night.